What are some of the most subtle pitfalls and attacks from the devil that you can warn others about? Well, it's very dangerous whenever the devil would have you loosen up, loosen your grip. Um, in other words, start becoming distant, start becoming isolated, relax a bit, uh, start missing meetings, start missing a time with the Lord in the morning. Um, a day goes by when you haven't spent time with the Lord in Bible reading, and then that soon becomes two days, and soon becomes three days, then it doesn't become so important to make this meeting on Sunday, and it's not such a priority. Um, it was the Amalekites that attacked the stragglers when the nation of Israel was moving through the wilderness, those that were at the back of the pack. And so don't become that. It's a tool of the devil. Keep a tight grip. Keep a tight rein. Be disciplined that way. Spend time with the Lord. Um, pay close attention to yourself and to your doctrine. That was Paul's advice to Timothy. Um, don't, don't slacken the grip. So that would be that would be a bit of advice, maybe, to watch out for. The devil's very subtle, isn't he? He, he um, appears to be an angel of light, and uh, it appears that what you're seeing might be some sort of... Um, some sort of Christianity, but in reality, when you get down to it, it's not. That was uh, part of the lure of those cults. There was a degree of the extraordinary there, the outlandish even, that's a draw. People are drawn to the supernatural. But it, in the end, it ends up being a, a disguise, not what it appeared to be.